Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. Today I'm going to try one of these new Jimmy Dean's Chicken Honey Biscuit. It's made with premium white meat chicken, fully cooked savory breaded chicken breast with a uh, patty with rib, rib meat in a honey biscuit. I'll be able to talk at some point now. It says the biscuit's made with real honey. That's cool. There are four in the box and we bought these at Kroger. They were $7.49. But like I said, you get four biscuits in the package. So the total weight of the whole box is 16.4 ounces 1.02 pounds or 464 grams it looks really really good um one of the directions um well, let me find the here's the calories point you up here a little bit 310 calories per sandwich and again there's four there's your other info for you so cooking directions are down here so it says if you want a crispier experience, do the air fryer, which I'm not going to do the air fryer, but you could if you wanted to. So we're going to do it in the microwave. There's two different ways you can do it. You can do it from frozen. I don't know if you can see that really well. Um, you can do it from frozen or you can do it from refrigerated. So what I did, they come frozen in the freezer section um, at Kroger is where I got them. And what I did was I just laid the whole box in the refrigerator and let them thaw out overnight. And um, it just makes life a little easier. And I think they taste a little bit better. They have a better texture if they're not coming from frozen, if they're refrigerated. So that, that's how I'm doing them. So we're going to, from the refrigerator, we're going to remove the wrapper, wrap it in a paper towel, and microwave on high for 45 to 50 seconds. I'll probably just do like 45 seconds or until, um, until hot and let it stand for one to two minutes before you eat it. Um, that's what you're supposed to do. I usually don't wait that long, but you can if you want to. So basically remove it from the wrapper and wrap it in a paper towel. Um, ah, here's, okay, it's got this thing. You grab this and pull it up. Ah, cool. And they're all attached. Luckily that they're, they're uh, perforated really nicely, so they pull, pull apart pretty easily. Okay, let me put this to the side. And let me get a paper towel. Luckily, they're right here. So opening these should be pretty straightforward. You know, grab this, pull it apart. It doesn't say anything about uh, flipping it or anything halfway through, but here is the sandwich. There's no cheese or anything on there. It's just literally chicken and biscuit. So I'm going to wrap this up and get this in the microwave, and I'll be back. Okay, here it is out of the microwave. I did let it sit for probably, I don't know, a minute. Uh, but I doubt there's much to look at once I open this. But we'll see. That's changed much. Yep, it looks exactly the same. It's just hotter. So I'm going to, I'm actually going to flip this open. Uh, because I don't want the bun, to, the biscuit to get really uh, like soggy. And they will sometimes if you leave them sitting like they are. But it looks pretty good. You can really smell the breading on that chicken. Um, it doesn't smell bad. You can just smell the breading. And the biscuit itself feels pretty good and soft. You can see it's bendy. It's not uh, dried out or anything. So I'm going to let this cool off for just a minute to get over the table and get a camera over the table and uh, we'll give it a try. All right, give it just a minute to, to cool off. A little piece of breading. The breading in the microwave for sure is not going to be crispy. So if you want it crispy, you're going to have to follow the directions like in the air fryer. The air fryer will crisp up the chicken uh, quite a bit more than the microwave for sure because it's the breading's very uh, soft. It's not wet, but it is soft. Hmm. Good textures. The biscuit is a little dry. Like it's soft and everything. It's not like like dried out hockey puck or anything, but it's dry when you're eating it like you, you feel like you need a drink. And the chicken, it's tender, but it's not really what you'd call moist chicken. It's it's just um just a regular chicken patty. And that's not to say that the chicken patty is dried out. The biscuit and the chicken patty are fine texture wise. It's just uh, you may want to get a drink just when you're eating this because it's going to be the biscuit itself is dry. The chicken is not a really, really super moist piece of chicken. So it's a little drying too. And the breading again is wet, is not uh, crispy. It's kind of soft. So it's kind of dry. Um, it's okay. Like I said, I need a drink. Uh, texture wise, not bad. It is good and tender. I do have to say that.
Just don't take big bites. Take smaller bites. The chicken patty tastes like a, a typical chicken patty that's got that same um, flour-like breading and it's like every other microwave chicken patty out there. Um, the good thing, it doesn't have that really strange chicken patty flavor where the, the breading is kind of like a, like a cornmeal-y kind of flavor. I don't really like those. Uh, this is not like that. This is more just, just floury. Uh, I want to try some of the biscuit by itself because the biggest deal is about this one is it's a honey biscuit. Hmm. By itself, you do actually get a little bit of a honey flavor um, in the biscuit. It's like it's got a very, very thin drizzle of, of honey on the biscuit. It's not, but you know, it tastes like you did. Um, the good thing is it made the honey flavor in there, but it didn't make it sweet. So it's not like a, a King's Hawaiian roll or anything like that. It's not sweet biscuit, but it is. Um, you do get that honey flavor. It might be nice if it did have a little bit of actual honey, a honey packet you could squeeze over the top. That'd be pretty cool, actually. Um, this is okay. The, um, the textures are fun. The flavors are good. They are slightly different than just a regular biscuit. Um, if you had a piece of cheese, you could put a piece of cheese on here and make it better. If you have a little bit of mustard or something like that, just to jazz it up a bit. It, again, it's not bad. It's just the flavors are just kind of okay you know it's not like anything fancy or special or anything like that uh the biscuit does have a good flavor the chicken has an okay flavor um it's just that the breading is not really seasoned so it's literally just flour and chicken and it's it doesn't have any even just like salt and pepper kind of flavor to it. it's very plain so i'm going to give it a three out of five it's not a bad sandwich at all it's actually um would fill you up and i think you'd be um perfectly happy after eating it. It's just nothing uh, nothing fancy. You probably want to doctor it up a little bit to make it a little bit nicer. Me personally, I'd like a little piece of pepper jack cheese on there with a little squirt of mustard. That would be really, really good. Or ketchup or mayo or whatever you want to put on there. Um, but just need something to make it a little bit more exciting. But beyond that, it's a three out of five. Hope you enjoy this video. Thanks for watching.